The Rocket League ranked ladder is broken. Champ 1 in 1v1 is completely different than Champ 1 in 2v2. I thought it wasn't important for a while until recently I decided I want to get SSL before that retirement video I made. And I asked myself a question I never asked before. What game mode should I play if I want to rank up? This one involved hours of research, talking with previous SSLs, and even interviewing some guest pros, which we'll see later in the video. To start, we have to better understand the rank system and how MMR works in Rocket League. I want to start by showing you a graph. This is percent of population breakdown per rank in each game mode. These are the Season 11 competitive rank results uh, posted on the Reddit. I'll have the, the Reddit thread linked down below. Now, the first thing you'll see here that no other competitive title has, like Rocket League, is a unique split of three graphs. I mean, obviously, we know there are different game modes, but actually, most comp games don't work like this. Most games, even if they have multiple game modes, will only give you one rank. Here's where it gets weird, though. If you look at the graph, you'll see that the curve for ones and twos and threes is almost never the same. And each curve actually has its own unique shape that sort of reflects the game mode. But fun fact, getting Grand Champ in doubles this last season was 0.55% of the population. But two seasons ago, there were almost double the amount of Grand Champs. There were 0.85% Grand Champs in doubles, which implies that Rocket League is actually driving down the amount of Grand Champs in the ladder. In other words, they're making it harder for you to rank up every season. But the question then becomes, why? Why is Rocket League making it harder to improve, seemingly, at their game? Don't they want us to play the game and reach high ranks? Not quite. Before I asked pros what's going on and why it's so hard to rank up now, I decided to phone some friends to see if it's been hard for them to rank up too. Or maybe it's just me and I'm washed. Let's find out. Lord, how have the rank resets been treating you lately? All right. I mean, I don't know. I don't really like, not good, not bad. Like, I think I'm just playing worse because I'm a bad player. You know, I'm just inconsistent. Yeah, I don't know, Spook Luke. I mean, it's it's kind of just like, it's Rocket League, you know? So, so it's going to be bad when I play it, you know? I'm asking Shears this question for a YouTube video. Has ranked been more difficult to rank up or same as always? I mean, I kind of just started this year. I ain't gonna lie, I started like February and I started on keyboard, but it, I think it's actually gotta be harder. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what they feed in kids nowadays, but I definitely think it's harder. Spook Luke, holy smokes. It is an honor to see you, brother. Quick one about ranked. Is it harder to rank up this season than previous? I feel like that is hard because I feel like I don't play as much as I used to. Usually, usually I've been able to get I've been able to get SSL about every season towards the end, but I did not get to, I did not get it last season. It was, it was too too tough. Quick one about ranked. Is it harder to rank up this season than previous? Uh, I feel like yeah. I feel like always it always gets harder. I think the gap between lower ranks is always going to be the same but when you get to diamond it just gets like harder and harder and when you hit champ champ always gets better and better so like it's harder to break into champ compared to like before just mainly because like mechanics and stuff Spood luga why are you asking streamers when psionics have literally told you already knowing your answer you can look at the numbers man you, you can literally just go on reddit and look it's the same as they literally made it like there's the st statistics bro look at the statistics it's not that difficult homie hi sprickly how are you doing uh i'm probably on experience with the resets as well like, what's your rank now how's ranking up being for you in the last bit how has my ranked games been use one emote to express how good they've been <laughs> i like how you went for the piss emote I have all of the emotes, it's piss emote. I, f I think I, I finished low GC1, high champ 3, I can't remember, it was one of the two. And the game put me in champ 2. The thing is though, is it happens every season. Oh, I, fi I finish, finish 1500, champ 2. F*** you. Uh, I finished champ 3, champ 2. F*** you. Oh, I finished GC1, F*** you, champ 2. I can't win. Clearly, after talking to the creators, we all feel the same way. 
the rank system is hard. But that doesn't answer the question, what's actually going on? And is this something we can work around? Or are we all just doomed to be a rank lower now? To put an answer to this investigation once and for all, I decided to call the pros. The rank system feels harder now than it's ever been. As a pro, do you have any ideas why this is? Yeah, so I couldn't tell you exactly why that is. I mean, I could take a guess or wager some theories. Um, I, I don't know. It could have something to do with a decrease in influx of new players. Just because the more new players you have added to the environment, obviously, the more MMR there's going to be to go around. Um, Makes sense. But I also think generally ranking up gets easier as the season goes on. Mm. Take, for instance, you know, for me, I'll get up to 2300, 2400 MMR and then get sent back down to 1500. You said you start 1500, 1600 and end 23? 23? Yeah, so I don't know where I peaked exactly last season, but generally, I, I mean, my highest that I've reached was like 2400, I think. Generally, that means my MMR, I'm taking an 800 MMR hit at the start of every season. Pros are basically getting kicked two and a half full ranks. They're, they're, we don't even have a name for it, but you're getting kicked down to like, when you get kicked down GC1, GC2, that would be the equivalent in skill gap of like one of my plat viewers getting knocked down to silver. It seems like the takeaway is there's the most MMR to go around in twos, and that seems to be the most popular mode. Yeah, I, I agree. I think that's a good way to sum it up. Thanks for coming on, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for having me. The average person in my audience feels like the rank ladder is harder to climb now than it ever has been. But I also want to know where you're coming from. Where did you end up last season, and how do you Q rank these days? I had a decent finish to the to the ranked season last last season. I actually finished uh, number one in ones, and then finished like top ten ish in twos. Uh, threes pros don't play, so um, unranked in threes. I think I played one one ranked threes game the entire season. So uh, to answer the first part of your question, you know why your viewers may think um, the ranked kind of system is uh, is harder to climb nowadays. I, I don't know if it's like if that's the case i don't know how i feel about that i think it's more at least from what i felt is as we get you know more into the game as as the years go by more mechanics and people are getting better more mechanics coming out more ways to chain certain mechanics coming out with certain recoveries and stuff like that there's a lot more to um that you can learn now not that you should learn that you can learn right and i think a lot of players they kind of like they, they skip the basics and, and try and learn like you know too much almost and sometimes that can, um, they can feel like they're improving because they're learning all this new stuff, but it's not quite applicable in their, you know, in-game scenarios yet. So they're losing their ranked games, which makes it seem like the ranked ladder is getting harder. Obviously people are going to get better at all times, but so are, so are you, right? You know, we're all getting better. And I think some people just start focusing on the wrong things as more things become available to them. Yeah. For the average player out there who wants to rank up, who wants to progress the fastest, what's the advice from a pro? I think you have to have a balance. That's obviously the first thing. The thing is, right, we shouldn't always take advice from pros. Not not as like, you know, the gospel, right? Like we shouldn't just take it as 100% fact because pros are exceptions. A lot of players try and, you know, emulate what I did coming up. And I played so much ones. I played more ones than twos. Now, right. I don't think you should do that. I think it should be close, but I don't think you should do what I do uh, or what I did. Uh, if I had to give kind of a percentage, right? Um, I think it should be around 30% of your games should be in 1v1, 60% should be in 2s, and 10% should be in 3s. No, I think I think that's a great take-home message. Jack, thanks so much for, for coming on, man. No, of course. Anytime, bro. Okay, so TLDR, for us, the average Rocket League players, our ranks are screwed. <laughs> No, jokes aside, we're not screwed, and you can rank up, but the ranked ladder today is harder than it's ever been. There are a lot of reasons for that, but some of the big ones include lack of new players coming into the ranked ladder, increase in the amount of new mechanics, and the overall skill ceiling rising, and then overall, just psionics pushing people's ranks down, plus pros like Common Jack that are literally 2k plus MMR on the leaderboard, getting reset down to start every season out at like 1500 or 1600.
But does that just mean we're all screwed and we should just accept being champ two forever? Not quite. There are a couple things I'm going to be doing to try to hit my new peak rank come 2024. Here's my three-step plan. Number one, I'm not going to be pushing rank at the start of the season. So for the first couple weeks after a rank reset, I'm playing for fun. At least for me being GC3, right? When I get reset GC1, GC2, I just have to accept the fact that I might queue up against pros or bubble players at the start of the season. And so I'm saving my grind till end of the season. Number two, I'm going to be maining 1v1, but I'm going to try to peak at the end of the season in 2v2. The reason for that is because there are more players in 2v2 than any other game mode. So I'm going to main twos to try to hit SSL. And then number three, I'm focusing on the basics. Just like Jack said, there are more mechanics out there than ever before. There's wall dashing, zap dashing. There's all this different stuff to do, but the truth is the 20% of stuff that gets you 80% of the results is still the basics. So before IQ ranked, I'm hitting free play. I'm hitting workshop maps. I'm hitting shooting training packs. So that's my three-step plan to rank up in 2024. And I guess, you know what? Let's make it official. In 2024, before I'm going to retire, for the first 12 weeks of the new year, I'm going to be attempting my final push for SSL. As many of you know, I've been hard stuck grand champ for over two years. So this is my last attempt. If I can't push to SSL after the new year, I will retire a grand champ. Now to support me in this push to SSL, no, I'm not getting boosting. Starting January 1st, 2024, I will be enrolling in the Grand Champ Bootcamp for 12 weeks of coaching to get SSL by April 1st. Yes, doubters in the comments, I don't wanna hear it. The coach is getting coaching. I'm doing whatever I have to do to get SSL. <laughs> now, if you followed me for a while, you might be wondering, Luke, didn't you start that coaching program? And the answer is, for those of you who don't know, I actually don't coach anymore. And I haven't coached one-on-one -on -one for many months. These days, I just make YouTube videos. So what this means is I get to sign up in 2024. And after I do their benchmark test and go through the whole onboarding process, I'm gonna get paired with a pro coach and I'm gonna document as much as I can as I push for SSL through January, February, and March to ultimately see if I can hit it by April 1 or not. So if you want to join me, you can DM the Grand Champ Bootcamp's new Discord account with the keyword 2024 for coaching. And if you qualify, I'll see you training in the Discord server after New Year's.